Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Predator Helios 3D. To gain access to the internals, you have to undo 11 Torx head screws. Then, you can carefully raise the bottom panel by holding firmly the two exhaust vents on the back and lift away the plate from the chassis. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. There are two cooling pads on the inside of the bottom panel for cooling the SSD's controllers. Clever idea. The battery is a 90.61 watt hour unit. Before taking it out, unplug the connector from the mainboard. The capacity is enough for 3 hours and 8 minutes of web browsing or 2 hours and 56 minutes of video playback. The battery isn't fixed to the base with screws because there is a dedicated socket for it on the inside of the bottom plate that is securing the unit in place. The memory is protected by a metal shroud. To remove it, you have to undo one screw and then you can lift up the plate with a plastic tool. There are two thin thermal pads on the inside of the metal cap for cooling the memory. Speaking of which, the two SODIMs can handle up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM and dual channel. Two additional cooling pads are placed below the RAM sticks. Good job, Acer. For storage, you get two M.2 slots compatible with Gen 4 SSDs. In our case, the NVMEs are working in RAID 0 mode. The SSD below the GPU chip and the chipset are additionally cooled by a thermal pad. The cooling is massive. It comprises two fans and two heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. There is one additional pipe for the processor and two more for the video card. We can also spot four heat sinks and a pair of a big heat spreaders. The bigger one is on the side of the GPU. 